Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those who are new, I am Dr. Madhu Mishra. Uh, I'm a postdoc in South Korea currently and I've done my PhD from Isis Ventrum, India. And my research topic was uh, supergravity and black hole thermodynamics. It still is the same. I still am working on thermodynamics of black holes and stuff. And if you're interested in knowing a lot, lot more or little more about my research, uh, please go check the check out my website. I am going to link it down in the comment section below. So today is actually a holiday and that's why I'm shooting another video. I just shot one video and now I'm shooting another video. I am not getting much time to shoot a lot of videos. So on weekends, uh, either I'm traveling or my husband is here. So I don't get much time to make videos because also I want to spend time with him. We... We don't get much time to spend together so weekend is booked for him for us so i don't get much time to shoot videos and today surprisingly was a holiday and it's not a weekend so i thought i should make the most of it and i should shoot multiple videos and just schedule it for you know in some equally tours so that you get something or other in like in regular intervals so that I am regular uh, but I'm not shooting regularly I cannot shoot regularly it's too hectic to do anything I have to cook then I have to do my research traveling washing living alone is not a joke and living alone in a different country where you don't know which ingredient you can find today to cook uh, yourself a meal I'm a vegetarian I cannot eat outside here so in Seoul, although I have a lot of options, it's very expensive, but we do get some options. We do go to some Indian restaurant and eat. But Pohang, it's very, very difficult to find anything vegetarian. We have tried ordering pizza, mentioning everything vegetarian, mentioning that we don't want any meat, but we end up getting some something or other in our pizza. So we have stopped doing that. Uh, the only thing we can eat or order is coffee and some sweet things like you know croissant waffles pancake and stuff but we need food and i don't know what to cook if i don't know what can i buy here so it's very difficult it's been quite a roller coaster journey now sort of settled like i know what kind of ingredients are regularly available and i've also watched some videos that can give me some recipes to cook a few things i do cook a lot of indian food but i also want to cook things that are available here some pancake vegetable pancake and stuff because they have a lot of uh, green leaves and uh, you know leek and zucchini and i don't know a lot of things they have which i don't know how to use so i watch a lot of videos and cook but today we, today's video is not about that <laughs> today's video is uh, about uh, how i made my decision between in integrated phd in isl trivendrum and uh, or msc from any iit so there were a few things uh, that made me help make a decision and i just wanted to share with you what uh, things i considered while i made a decision uh, i will tell you a backstory also so that you know the relevance uh, you know where i was coming from uh, so that if you're much more evolved than me much more uh, aware than me then you can make a much better decision okay so let's start from a little bit my background or backstory so that you know why okay i come from a middle class family i uh, have a sister and a brother and uh, both are now both are working my brother is a chartered accountant now but when i was doing my phd he was preparing for ca's uh ca exams so he was doing coachings and studying my sister was doing mba um she got married right before i started in isa uh, right after i started in isa she got married in 2000 uh, in 2016 so i got enrolled in 2015 okay this will give you an idea I, my father was in army uh, he's he was in crpf he's a retired uh, police of uh, retired uh, army man now and uh, my mother is and was a housewife so you know the background so you can gauge my financial situation okay uh, my father was only working person and all three of us were studying and 
CA is costly, MBA is costly. I was doing BSc from a government college, not quite, quite expensive. It's very cheap and the fees was very less. Uh, I can tell you it was some 2000 or 2500 a year. And uh, because I used to be in the topper, I used to get some fellowship of 1500 or 1600, uh, which was equivalent of my fees but i was staying in hot i was staying in hostel so hostel fee i was eating outside uh, so mess fee or the tiffin fee uh tiffin cost was there so it was quite expensive living i was in raipur uh, so not as expensive as a delhi would be or a bangalore or bombay would be but raipur was expensive for us so so keeping that financial condition in mind when i got to know that i want to then when i decided that i want to do msc from bsu that was the idea while i was doing bsc from a government college i knew that the college is not nice and i'm not learning too much um i wanted to do msc from either bsu or samalabad university or du delhi was not an option for a, a me because my father was against delhi uh so I was just focusing on BHU and then I got to know that BHU entrance exam for MSc is very competitive and uh, you know I need to prepare for the entrance exam I should join a coaching center I cannot do self preparation if I do self preparation I will not be prepared for the exam because you have to attempt some 120 question in 120 minutes <coughs> What to know that you have to attend some <coughs> attempt some 240 questions in some 120 minutes so you get half a second half a minute to attempt one question and you should be uh, on your game on that day uh, and to i wanted to feel confident i wanted to be very prepared and that's when i went to delhi for a coaching me and my sister we fought with my parents uh tried to convince them and they got convinced in the end and then i went to delhi for some six month five six month and uh, prepare uh, to prepare for bhu entrance exam and that's where i get to know that there is an iit jam exam and just exam and you can do phd uh, msc from iits i didn't know that okay i did not uh, not know that that there is a there is an option of doing MSc from IIT. I only know that IIT is for engineers and you have to go for J exam. I was not interested in doing engineering and uh, knowing the financial situation, I did not thought that's a good option for us. Um, to pay lakhs and lakhs for engineering college, I would not be able to afford it. So I went for BSc. I always wanted to go in a teaching profession. I still want to go in a teaching profession after i'm done with everything i will go in a teaching profession i am pretty sure of that uh, and that's why i chose bsc over engineering and when i got to know about iit msc and uh, jest i started preparing for that it's, it's the same coaching and I, three months like just one month before the main iit or just exam my brother called and he asked uh, how how's your preparation going uh, what about bhu are you going to bhu uh, or not uh, i said if nothing happens then i'll go to bhu that was like that came in the last option because iit and just was my first two preferences i wanted to go to iit i wanted to go for just and then the exam day came i gave exam just went very well it was offline exam we had paper we wrote and iit jam was an online exam basically the first time i gave an exam on computer digital exam so i kind of screwed it up because i could not go to the last question like you just clicking clicking and it's like i'm used to giving exams on paper so that i can go through all the questions in one go and then try to attempt what uh, what I feel much confident about but I, I couldn't do it in the IIT jam exam and that I became you know it wasn't a very good exam so when the rank came it showed uh, I did not get very good rank in uh, IIT jam but I could I got a quite okay rank in chest so I think it was some 400 in jam and some 200 in range of 200 in chest 
okay so then i could apply to some colleges depending on the rank a uh, lot of good iits were out of my reach because i had low rank so then i could only apply to some iits or something uh, i don't remember correctly or exactly which iits or which iits but i do remember the top iits like iit mc delhi bombay were not the choice for me uh, and just also isc tfr was not it were not my choice uh, like were not my option i could not apply to them depending on my rank so my choice were iso bhopal iso pune mohali and uh, jncsr and some other ex uh, some other sn boosts and all those colleges were there i applied online filled some forms sent it to them and uh, i for iits i did not apply anywhere so the only place i i did not apply anywhere when i got the reason was i did not as you know that i did not know that there is an option of phd i was preparing for msc exam msc entrance exam the only thing i thought about was going through msc so research was not on my mind at all so i did not know the area i would like or what if i would be able to do research at all so when i got the opportunity of getting enrolled in integrated phd program which was a seven year paid program paid program was also very key ingredient it was paid program it was seven years of uh, in icer full like sorted i won't i don't have to prepare for another exam after msc i don't have to pay to uh, complete my msc pay to complete my phd for me it was sorted i needed a time to figure out if i want to do research when i i and i had this confidence that i can get through it i can work hard and finish my phd i did not know what other factors about phd i thought it's just it's going to be me i have to work hard and i can work hard now when i enrolled in phd thank god uh, from my parents prayers and everything that everything went smooth but i was not prepared for sure i was not prepared when i see now i just knew that i am confident and i will work hard and i will finish my phd and msc msc you can finish msc it was okay it was just like bsc exam you just study and do exams and everything like that but for phd i had no idea no one in my family is in academia and i had like no idea that finding a right professor is so important important finding a correct subject is so important so i just went with the flow knowing that that i will have i have <coughs> <coughs> i don't have to crack any exam and i don't have to ask for money from my family that were two key uh, decision making reasons why i went to iser and when i went to iser i do not regret a single bit of my choice i got the opportunity to spend two years knowing all the professors knowing the research areas in iser and then making a decision about which professor i want to work with which field i want to work on and that was it i think i made the right decision i chose the right professor uh, with whom i can vibe i knew there were very good professor there were some good professor but you know sometimes you also have to uh, you have to also have to keep your intelligence into the factor i was a hard working student i am not a very intelligent person i am not the smartest of a researcher the only thing i can do is work hard if someone tells me if i get stuck uh, do not uh, i i am i don't believe that i can like you know think something out of the box i am very i think uh, my brain is very limited uh, so i needed the push i needed the help and the professor that i thought can give me proper help is the professor i chose who i thought is very good at communication who would communicate like things he would say i would understand because i also took their, his courses so i knew that the way he teaches i understand so and there were some very good professors but i would not understand their statements sometimes they will just make very high five statement which will just go up my head so i won't understand so i thought 
even when they are a very good researcher very good professors this i i just cannot work with them because it will uh, i will not be able to understand if they even try to explain me anything about my research where i'm stuck i won't be able to understand so i have to choose a professor whose things i can understand so that's how i made a decision to choose my supervisor and that's how i ended up doing my phd and uh, hopefully luckily uh, luck matters a lot lot of people work hard harder than work harder than me and uh, but i i think there was a little slightest luck on my side also that everything went smooth uh, i i feel i get scared sometimes that how naive i was uh, when i made this decision uh, but i i i just feel happy the the reasons the reason i made this decision is that it was a seven year course i do not have to give another entrance exam and it is i don't have to ask for financial help from my parents so yeah that's why i made this decision uh, i am very sure you're not as naive as i was uh, if you're here already because i was so stupid that i didn't even search on youtube uh, maybe youtube at that point of time was not very famous people from my circle were not watching as much youtube and there were not many con content on research also so i did not search for anything i just googled about eligibility criteria and the um, you know things that i'll get on requirements so that's all i researched for and i did not watch any video uh, or did not come across any person who would tell me that how difficult it could get it would have scared me it would have scared my parents so it was good also that i was unaware and blissfully ignorant about everything and then went ahead and did it i worked hard but i also had so much support from my family and my teachers so yes thank you i hope this helps <laughs> this helps uh, and uh, you consider a few things here and there the things that i phd give you is enough time to explore which i don't think you'll get it in msc but and if you're not sure you can leave uh, i integrated phd with an ms research degree now so i think you should go for i integrated phd if you're not sure if, that you want to consider uh, want to pursue phd uh, if you're sure, then of course, go ahead, do it. Uh, you'll get an experience, do some research product, project, and then you can choose. You can also switch fields. I think integrated PhD is a very nice course. I still feel it's a very nice course. I feel that there are much more positive points than negative points. Uh, there were negative points when you were not allowed to leave ISA, uh, which was the case when we enrolled. And after, I think one year after our uh, batch the rule has changed people leave now after msc they, when they realize that they don't want to do research or they don't want to do research in this particular institute you are you are free to go if you are worried about uh you know missing out one year but you're getting ms research degree and uh, if you just want msc degree from iit that's also good thing i think but yeah depending on what you want I think integrated PhD, if you want to, if you're not sure about your PhD choices, I think integrated PhD is a very good, good option that you should go for. Okay. I hope this helps and yeah, see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.